Welcome back to Boy Band Break, where we encourage you to take a break from your day and listen to some boy band talk. Let us let us relax you and talk about your favorite boy bands. They think it's funny that I said, <laughs> let us relax you. It's okay. You can laugh. No, you just sound like a late night talk show host. Like a, it's hey, totally my intention. It's like the sex phone lady. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was my former profession. You don't know. Are we keeping any of this? You have a second life, Diane. We don't know. All right, about. all right. So that's Let's Diane. Get on topic because these people. Let's introduce came ourselves to hear about boy bands. My name is Diane. I'm Sophia, and I'm Chinzia. And today, we're just gonna get it out of the way, guys. We're gonna talk about the Backstreet Boys. It's gonna be an entire episode dedicated to what we believe to be the greatest boy band of all time. So. Maybe if you disagree, you might want to listen. Maybe you want to hear why we think they're so great. Maybe we can change your mind. Um, Because they're pretty awesome. Yes. yes. Sorry, no, I wasn't yeah, sure. No, no, no. Yes, I know. I, can't see. <laughs> I wasn't sure where we were going with that I one. But yes, no, definitely. Um, definitely the greatest boy band of all time who are still making music and performing. So let's start at the beginning. Uh, when's the first time you remember, like, seeing them or hearing them? Okay, um, the first time I heard them was in 1996. Um, I was at my friend's house in her living room. We were listening to much music. Uh, you were listening to much music? Sorry, I was watching much music. You can also vi- listen to TV. Could. Like, I mean, if it was on okay. in the other room. Yes, so uh, we were watching music videos, um, and... Oh my god get down just came on and we were freaking out we're like oh my gosh who's this new boy band and then like right away we were like who do you choose as your favorite um and right away i was like aj my friend was like nick um the other one was like brian and the rest is history the rest is history in case you don't know she mentioned much music much music is like the canadian mtv Yes. Although MTV is now in Canada as well. Back in our day, they used to actually play music videos yeah. and yes. have lots of interviews with artists and stuff. So it was good times. Uh, I would say I was probably also introduced to the Backstreet Boys. It was either Much Music or the YTV's Hit List. Mm-hmm. I don't know yes. which one would have been, but I believe it was also Get Down as well. And we're like, this is a, did Get Down come out first? That was, I believe, the first song that was released here. Because we kind yes. of, Canada kind of uh, got... Backstreet Boys via Europe, and because so, because they came in and they came in through Montreal and then kind of pushed their way across Canada. Yes. Then eventually they went to the states. Yeah, so, so I we feel had them first. Like really, when they first came out here, it was Get Down. They had they had obviously released uh, We've Got It Going On prior to that, but that was mostly in Europe. I think. Yes, that's right. That's at least the yeah, first thing correct. I remember. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what um, I remember as well. The boys formed in 1993. April 20th, in case you're wondering, just so you know. Still um, going strong. I th- The first time I really remember seeing them was like in those bop magazines. And uh, I didn't know, I hadn't heard any of those music. I don't know if that's how it kind of filtered from Europe from those bop magazines. Like, did those come from there? It's possible I remember, that they did. I remember my um, friend had, her friend was, I believe, Polish. And her mom really wanted her to like, learn and speak polish and stuff so she would get these boy band magazines from europe here so we wouldn't be able to actually read anything at all but we'd see like pictures of yeah so i saw a picture of them or like a poster or something in one of these like bop magazines and i didn't really i'm flipping through looking for pictures of like jonathan taylor thomas you know what i mean and and, uh, my cousins were like who's that i'm like i don't know it says backstreet boys and they're like oh is this like a rip off new kids on the block and i was like oh yeah totally and then I was like, oh, they kind of look cool. I don't, I don't know. And then, They're kind of <laughs> pretty. Um, yeah, definitely later, like, heard their songs and music video via, I'm sure it was the hit list. I don't think I watched much music much when I was, like, 12. Yeah. Yeah, nice. it was always much music. And then the YT- YTV hit list was I always like, after was Leslie and Exan, I think. Yeah. The... And I think at the time I and was, Tarzan like. And Tarzan Dan was on there, too, wasn't yeah. he? Not a fan of that man. If if you listen to the last episode, you know that I like definitely in the in my beginning stages of life was not a new kids on the block fan. And so I was like, I don't want to be a fan of some new kids on the block ripoffs. But 
you know they drew me in nick was too beautiful he's very beautiful he usually does that uh so i want to go through some of your backstreet faves and so what is your favorite backstreet boys song i know this is difficult wow i feel like there's too many of them because like depending on what mood you're in and stuff but do you want me to say mine first because i've had time to think about it okay mine i i thought about it and i agree it's like so hard and there's so many amazing songs and it's constantly changing i think mine is incomplete okay that's a good one i like um it's just it came out at a time when i thought i was never gonna hear new backstreet boys music ever again and when i heard it for the first time i was just like this is real life like they're still together this is i i was just it was like amazing and i'll never forget that and so i think that's why it's just like i have an emotional tie to it plus it's an amazing song when they sing it when nick sings it solo it's even more amazing sorry <laughs> sorry rest of the guys i love you but like he's unbelievable on that track wow um that's hard to answer because i like a lot of them um but i would probably say don't want to lose you now i saw that uh performed live for the first time in 99 um on the millennium tour and it was amazing um I don't know. I really like spoke to me how they're like they sing the song. I think I even cried at one point when they sang oh. it. So yeah, I think it meant a lot to see that live, and they haven't performed it since. But yeah, nice. I feel like if you're trying to answer a question like this, you can't be like, "Oh, I love their like major hit song." Like, yeah. no, but you can't. I, you I know, know what? I don't believe in that BS. If you want to say that I want it that way is your favorite Backstreet Boys song, then you should say it loud and proud. Who cares? It's a good yeah. song. I don't know why. I'm. I don't know. There's so many of them, but I'm. I want to say bigger. Bigger okay. is good. And I don't know if it's because I. I don't know. The music video I feel like really helps with that. Yeah. In Japan and like going around and doing stuff like that. Really like that one, but. Honest, I can tell you which song I absolutely hate. I don't know. Is that a question? That is, this is faves, but you, you can just say which one's your least favorite. Sure. Legit, my least favorite song to see them perform or any, like, just, I hate this song and everybody loves it is uh, Siberia. What? And I freaking hate that song. Like, I hate it. Although at the oh one God, concert. That's not what I thought you would say. So do you want to hear my least favorite song? Sure. We're, my we're least, down the rabbit hole. My least favorite song is She's a Dream. I think that song is the stupidest song the Backstreet Boys have t- ever made. Did you sell that one to Howie? I, I also told... Shorty ain't got cable. That yeah, one? yeah. I'm like, how the <laughs> F do you not know who the Backstreet Boys are? You don't have cable? You, you're living under a rock? Come on. Well, this was like 90s. Song is they never perform it. Right. Like you don't have, after This Is Us, you never had to listen to that song again if you don't want to. So Siberia, you have to hear. Oh, so they're like, the they don't perform it. They perform it in sound check or something. Although I feel like at one of the Toronto shows at the Molson Amphitheater, there was like s- fake snow falling during <laughs> yeah, that. I so. And I, that made me appreciate the song a little bit more. But I just like, I don't know. I, I like more of the upbeat songs. For sure. And uh, like obviously they they freaking kill ballads and they're really awesome. They yeah. have really strong vocals, but I don't know. I think just everybody loves that song, and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't. So yeah, I've I've uh, requested that song as, as a soundtrack. Ooh. So sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I think honestly, I don't know. I just think it's I a great know if song. I have the least favorite, but the one that irritates me the most. Yes, go ahead. I'll never break your heart. <gasps> And everybody loses their but it's so shit dramatic at that one. And if you're ever at a Backstreet Boys concert, when that song comes on, I implore you to look at all the men in the audience. For some reason, that song, they will lose their minds. I don't know if it's just like where they put it in the set list and they're drunk at that point or like what, but they're always like very dramatically singing to their lady, like, oh, man. And I'm like, Whoa. it's because they want to get it on that night with their lady and they're like, oh, this is the easiest one to learn to maybe, serenade them. Maybe, yeah. But oh, God, it's so boring. Sorry, it is it's so boring. Do you know what's a good one? If you want it to oh be good, God. girl, get yourself a 
bad boy. So it's like da, 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 I really do. You know what I appreciate the most about this song is how much all of the boys except Nick hate this song. But Nick only likes it because they all hate it, which is yeah. makes me love that song he even hated more. It as well, at first, and then he's like, and "Oh, then he changed his mind." Which cruise was it when they're like, "Okay, we're gonna do this song because a thousand <laughs> you all voted for this thing," and they're like, "We don't understand why you like this song. It's highly inappropriate because Nick was like twelve when we sang it, and it was just like it's just." I don't know. Yeah. I feel it amuses okay. me greatly. Be your fave. Um, I would definitely not say it's my fave, but I, I like the, amu- the the polar parts of this song. Yes. So it drives people nuts. So Chinzia, again, she spoiled me. She's always jumping ahead. Sorry. Uh, she kind of already said, what's your favorite video? Favorite video. Well, obviously everybody is I like a that one. really yeah. well yeah. produced. My favorite part of that video, by the way, is when... <laughs> They're dancing and they're on the ground doing like some work. And then Brian is just looking around <laughs> confused <laughs> and favorite. everybody else is dancing around him. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, and everyone's like people who just like don't care about the Backstreet Boys. Like, what What are you talking about? I'm like, you got to watch this. And I got to pause it. I used to pause it on my VHS. I'm like, look, Brian's confused. And has no idea what he's doing. So they spent like millions of dollars on this video. And then like, they're like, ah, oh, we don't need to reshoot this scene. And I was, <laughs> so yeah. I like that one. Um, Larger Than Life is pretty good, I think. Um, I think Bigger is pretty good as well because it's the I first song I think it's a lot of fun. with Max Martin and I think that's a pretty cool vi- little video in Japan. And a lot of people hate that song which I don't understand but la, 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 you know la, what? La, la, la. I, la, la, la. Everybody is iconic like it's and it's amazing and whatever but I think Bigger might be my favorite video. Like it's just so yeah. it's just them being dorks and oh Kevin's not in it so it's kind of like oh my god but it's so, amazing. Okay. You know what so I really appreciate Kevin, about that? Everybody, and then without Kevin, bigger. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, what I like about bigger is the fact that they go to a karaoke bar, and <laughs> yes. I really would love to do karaoke with the Backstreet Boys. They did it on the cruise. Yes, but I didn't get to sing with them. Oh well. And I really appreciate that guy who's wearing like birthday pajamas, and he's just like <laughs> singing with them and all excited. Amazing. I was just like, this guy is the best. Yes. Like, so yeah. totally and I always that. really wanted to go to Japan. I've never been, so I thought it'd be kind of fun. So if you are not a Backstreet Boys fan and you have not like heard these songs that we're talking about or watch this bigger video, please, please, please go watch this video. It's if you want to know what the Backstreet Boys are like, this is them just like being dorks in their like natural element. Plus, also on their most recent cruise in 2018, they revealed that they almost got arrested several times yes. filming that video. So worth checking out, like makes it a little bit better. Sure does. Yeah, they have a lot of really good iconic videos. They do. Though. So it's really hard to choose. Them. What's that one where they're in all the apartments and Nick has terrible hair? I'll never break okay, I like the original video for that one where they're like skiing and stuff. And then it's they're like. It's kind of cute. I, I know you hate that song, but I was just like that. I don't hate the song. It just annoys me. But uh, yeah. So no. is that one? Th- I uh, like the original version better about, than the newer version. Because they're like, oh, America can't see skiing or something. <laughs> like, I, so, I wish, so let's put them in these weird ass rooms. And I think, yeah. So weird. do you like then um, Quit Playing Games With My Heart better than I'll Never Break Your Heart? The video or the song? The song. Obviously. Wow. Really? Yes. The rain. Interesting. Quit playing Sleep with my heart is um like I, I that's don't know. in my top five for sure. Because the boys songs. are like, oh, I hate this playing the song. Oh, I love it. Never stop playing that song. Weird. Interesting. See how everyone has different preferences. So true. Okay. And I don't, uh, you know, we love all of them, but who's your fave? You like, you gotta pick one. You know, there's a fire. Like, who are you saving? <laughs> there's a fire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too dramatic? <laughs> it's a bit dramatic. I'm just Should they be drowning well, in your right. love? Yeah, okay. Drowning they're in their drowning. love? Um, I'm just saying, like, I don't want you to cop out and be like, oh, I don't know, I love them all. Okay. So, do you want to say who you like first, you or can answer however you want to answer? All right. Okay. The long answer. When I first started being a fan of the uh, Backstreet Boys, my favorite was AJ. Then I added Brian in 2000. Yeah. Now it is Nick Carter. What? You no, no details on why that's the case. Well, I want to say like I've had great experiences with Nick, and he's shown. We've brainwashed you into. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I'm he, quite, I want to say he's also kind of brainwashed me as well. Um, looking into his eyes, you know, I should have clearly been a fan from the beginning. But AJ and Brian, I'm sorry. Maybe you just need more experiences with them. See, well, that's the thing. Fair, Nick is very fair, accessible to us, and Brian, we appreciate that. When I first began like going to events for him, he always went out of his way to you know make it special so i still have a good place in my heart for him and brian knows you by name and yes. says your name as so, just leanne so yes so he'll always be there in the top but chin nick okay so i guess if we're gonna go back in the day i would definitely say nick um i'm thinking back to the poster when i was on the front page of the toronto star for yeah. out much music and it was nick aj and i think i had brian because I remember when Brian got his heart surgery, I was like super upset about that. But um, and I did not like Howie at the beginning because he had the Jesus hair going on. And I was like, what is this? And for some reason, I just thought Kevin was like a million years old. <laughs> I was just like, oh, Kevin is so old, which really we watched some older videos. And we're like, he was not that old. But I guess when you're like 14, it just seems like yeah. he's in his 20s. We're like, oh whoa. Yeah. So um, Definitely had a lot of really great experiences with Howie because he would come up here to Canada quite often. He was the first Backstreet Boy I met, so obviously really like him. Um, but Nick and, you know, even AJ is... Uh, I'm starting to remember I really as like well AJ now, as well. So he's very... Uh, like, I, I, he's gone through so much and I feel like he... And the, like, the love that he shows for his wife and daughters and it's just like, it's really like nice to see AJ grow over the years. But I definitely... I would have to say Nick. Yeah. Stop copping out. Pick a favorite. Although to Nick. be fair, <laughs> when I do have good experience with AJ and Brian, I'm like, yeah, no, I understand why they were my favorite. So I'm sorry as well. Um, I keep going. We back obviously and forth, love really. them all. <laughs> Again, I'm, that's why I said they're drowning. You have to pick one. You know, I, well, about let's just say I, I get a boat. I tell them, OK, hop on. Okay, we're Grab getting some. really off topic here. I'm just saying that if you're talking in a drowning situation, I on the 2018 cruise, I jumped in the pool for both Nick and AJ. Oh, that's true. So, yes. So yeah, we did I would that. jump fully clothed <laughs> in a pool for them. So if they were, yeah. But I also feel like Nick would probably be saving us because he's taller. He claimed he would. Yeah, he said Nick, if there was a uh, zombie apocalypse, he would save us. So True. Um, <laughs> Gee, Diane, who's, who's your favorite? My favorite. If you know me, you are probably laughing your head off right now because everybody knows this about me. It always has been and always will be Nick Carter. I don't. I, I just don't know what else to say. I, I sometimes I wish I could like one of the other ones better because it's so like cliche to love Nick, so to speak. But I just can't not. I'm sorry. I love all of the rest of you so, so much. But he's just, there's something about his face. <laughs> I okay. can't. I can't. I would also like to point out that I've really enjoyed seeing Diane grow over the years. Yes. With Nick Kern. Yeah. Like, because in the beginning, when because we've been friends for, what, like seven, eight years, something yeah. like yeah. that. And, like, it was amazing to see, like, how clammed up Diane gets around Nick. And it's very entertaining. On the Nick and Night tour, they had a Nick and Night CD and, signing. And then Diane's like, "Don't talk to me. We're about to go up." And then and then, <laughs> and then Mike, Mike like, Mike's like, "Dude, you've you? met him like a bunch of times." And Diane's like, "Nobody talk to me right now." And we're just like, <laughs> and then we were making fun of her, and we're like, "She's, you're okay. He's just a human being." And Mike's like, "That's right. Like, you, you're okay. Don't worry about it." So we were laughing at her. I'd also like to say that I normally don't get starstruck too much i as uh diane likes to say sophia and i have verbal diarrhea when we're like, around celebrities so, oh my god they so do they're like never. why do you never talk around nick i'm like because i can't get a word in that drive <laughs> between you two so uh i'd have to say like i never really understood the whole like why is diane like crazy uh until i went to a concert in calgary and nick's just like singing and we were in like in the front row of the pit and he just like looked down and, like locked eyes for like 30 seconds and i just mine went blank and i was like what is happening right now or in Nashville when, uh, he, when I, I took a long, long ass story short, took a bus 18 and a half hours because he said to me in a tweet, because I said, hey, should I come to Nashville? He's like, yeah, it'd be great if you come. And I'm like, okay, I'll take a bus. So I went and uh, I was like, oh, hey, it was a really long trip, blah, blah, blah. So then we like took our picture. And then as we're leaving, he like looks me in the eyes and like grabs my hands and kiss my cheek and says, be safe. It was just like the weirdest experience because normally I just laugh when I'm around Nick or tell stupid jokes. But I was just like, what just happened? And again, mind blank and stuff. So I kind of 
understand Diane sometimes. I mean, okay, if you don't know me, if you we've never talked, uh, backstory is like, I, and I mentioned this in in a previous episode. When I was like 12, 13 years old, I was those believers. I was those direction. I literally, no joke, thought Nick and I were going to get married. I was like, (laughs) there's no plan B. Like, this is it. I found the man of my dreams and it's over. Like, lock it up. All my friends were like, who do you have a crush on? I'm like, it doesn't matter. (laughs) I'm going to marry Nick Carter. Like, who cares about these 12 year old boys? Like... (laughs) literally i would say these things like i was that ridiculous um so it's it it took a long time for me to reconcile in my mind that i actually get to like touch him and like talk to him and whatever i'm over it now kind of i think yeah i feel like you're better now diane is much better now for sure yeah and i would never tell him these things to his face so if he ever hears this (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, he's totally listening. Yeah, totally listening now. You never know. That's true, Crazier that's true. things have happened. Um, you know, we're running short on time here, so I'm going to skip a little bit. Uh, what makes the Backstreet Boys great for you? Like, why are they great? Okay, so for me, I feel like their voices together makes just a beautiful sound. Um, uh, also... They're just real uh, down to earth guys, and I love how they're just relatable, and they always like are funny, that kind of thing. I appreciate that they've still been working together so long for over twenty five years, and Kevin knew he needed a break. He took a break, and they welcomed him back, no problem. They, I find that some boy bands, you'll notice that there's a couple of leads voices that kind of stand out, whereas I feel like with the Backstreet Boys, they all blend together obviously you can hear all their voices but anybody could take a lead on a song and it would work well and the fact that they are still singing and dancing in their late 30s and early 40s and that i appreciate like how accessible they are to us and they'll like tweet and they'll like talk like whatever and post pictures of their family life and stuff and they're just like they're just really genuinely nice people so Mm -hmm. we've had the chance of meeting them many times over the years and tried to make them like take cheesy pictures and stuff and they're always a hundred percent game for what are we saying we're like hey you're gonna hold this you're gonna say this you're gonna do this yeah cool and they're like always game and always fun and always on i feel that uh they're just really genuine people so i really appreciate that and they give really good hugs <laughs> yes yeah i mean every i agree with everything you guys said uh and like to elaborate more um yeah i feel like they're just super down to earth like they're just they don't think very highly of themselves really like it's not like they're walking around like uh where are the backstreet boys don't you know who i don't am look me in the eye like you know what i mean like they don't take themselves seriously like brian's always seriously. like I joking know. around yeah i think they take themselves seriously but, no, I but like they joke around seriously yeah they like balance themselves out like they're serious but they also can have fun and just joke like, i know nobody believes me when i say this but they're like so like regular nice nice people like guys yes. like just everybody's like oh yeah but you paid money to see them of course but they like they don't have to do all this stuff that they do exactly like it's amazing and like just a second little thing i, I don't want to ramble on too long but they work so hard you guys like they put so much effort and dedication into everything you do i know so many people think these boy bands are just like these put together manufactured people write their songs for them and they just show up and sing and then somebody auto tunes it and that's it that's not the case like like, they are involved in every single aspect of every single thing that they do and they pour their blood sweat and tears into it and so it's like i you have to respect that like you have to as like much Brian's- as much as backstreet time drives us nuts yeah. that it takes forever to do anything they take the time to do it right so yes. i think that's it so hopefully this album will be out sometime this yeah. year so yes. uh we'll, we'll kind of wrap up just if you don't know uh the backstreet boys currently have shows in vegas there are some in october there are some in february and there's some in april and then that's it and then world tour baby and Woo! then supposedly there is an album coming out maybe in october 
um, and then a potential world tour to follow. They do have a new single, relatively new, came out a little bit ago, called Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Uh, you can check that out on Anywhere. iTunes, Google Play, YouTube. Your local radio station. Yeah, they're, the they're back on the radio. It's crazy. Um, but yes, I hope you've enjoyed this Backstreet Boys episode. I hope we've shed a little bit of light on why we think they're so amazing. Um, and I hope that you come back and join us again. Until next time. <laughs> Every time you point to me, I forget. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>